Now with Odisha FC of the ISL getting into a technical partnership with Watford of the Premier League, I am delighted to be joined by none other than Ben Foster, goalkeeper for Watford FC. Ben, how are you doing today? I'm really good, sir. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure, Ben. Pleasure. Uh, now, I want to start off by asking you, uh, is it safe to say now that you have an ISL team of your own to support in the league if you didn't have one already after this technical tie-up between the two clubs? Uh, I was a massive Odisha fan already. Like it's 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 a no brainer for sure. Sorry, Ash. That's uh, the the only team for me is is Odisha. Without it goes without saying. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, uh, fair play. What what I'm curious to know is um, now, now with the Premier League being a big drawback home in India as well. How do you see this partnership uh, benefiting both clubs going forward, both Odisha and Watford? Yeah, I think um, I think the beauty of it is that both both teams really can benefit from this. Obviously, um, the Indian market in general is just outrageous, and they are so hungry for Premier League football. And uh, you, you know, out there, the the viewership numbers are just unbelievable. You know, the Premier League. Obviously, we know the Premier League is is probably one of the biggest leagues in the world, biggest draws in the world, but especially out in India. And I think if we can just broaden our reach just a little bit, then it's it's job done. But um, I think the exciting part for me is if if we as a club, Watford FC, obviously we've been in the Premier League, we've been in English football for a long time. You know, we know how to do it. We know how to run a football club successfully. And I think going out to India, especially to Odisha, and trying to show not only how you do it on the football pitch properly, and I mean properly, you know, getting young players in, showing them how to train properly, how to live properly, all that kind of stuff, but then learn to run the football club properly and successfully as well it can only benefit Adisha massively and I think that's one thing that we're particularly excited of being able to do is to send our coaches out not just the football coaches you can go fitness coaches nutritionists you can go business people who can show the, show, show it how we do it over here because I think Watford as a football club over here are tried and tested really we, we you know what you're going to get from this we're a family orientated club and we do things properly now, Ben, why I initially asked you if you didn't already have uh, an ISL club of your own to support is because uh, your ex-teammates from United days, uh, Dimitar Berbatov and Wes Brown, have actually played in the ISL before. Now, uh, I'm just curious to know, have you ever had any chat with them about the ISL before or with anyone else for that matter? Have they told you about their experience of playing in the ISL? No, I didn't speak to them, but um, I spoke to David James actually a little bit, and he, you know, he thoroughly enjoyed it out there. Um, Stephen Taylor, obviously, he he went out there, played well, and I know Stephen really well, and um, it's the sort of thing that he would have fully enjoyed and fully on got on board with. But um, I think it's exciting. I think it's something that just needs a little bit more focus on it, you know. And like I say, I don't think you always want to do it the way of just sort of chucking money on it and, yeah. and getting these big players to come out and they might be there for two, three months and then they disappear again. I think if you can get an in infrastructure in place where you can get some big names, for sure, then also do it properly. Get the youth players on board, teach them how to play football properly. Um, yeah, that's the bit for me as, as the partnership is, is the most exciting part. Now, Ben, um, Steve Koppel, John Gregory, uh, David James, uh, a goalkeeper like yourself, uh, all Englishmen who've managed in the ISL before. Uh, there's also Phil Brown, who's uh, managed Hyderabad FC before. So just among your peers back home, what does that tell you about how the league is perceived back in England? Yeah, I think it's, um, I, I, I like it. I do. I really like it. I think it's it's so exciting to know. I think a lot, of, a lot of the managers you named there, they're really experienced English managers. You know, they've been in this country, they've been probably managers for 15, 20 years, some of them, and probably even more. So for them to go out there in the first place, tells you something. It tells you that there's there's a need for it. And there's a, that you know, the Indian people, they want to learn from these players and these managers who have played, done it in the big leagues. They've done it in the Premier League. They've done it in the Championship. That straight away tells me, tells me that there's an urgency and there's a need for it. But I think, like I say, if we can keep these partnerships going and really run it successfully and run it well, it just highlights how important it is and we can start to get a lot more people over there. We want to do it for the right reasons as well. I think, you, like I say, you don't always want to do it in a way where you just chuck money at people and say, come here for two, three months, do it and then disappear again. No, we want them to really buy into it and I think that's, again, is with Watford FC, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, I mean, Owen Coyle continues to manage uh, in India now. He's expected to be joining for the upcoming season. Um, so that's that about the managers. But uh, we've also had a few Englishmen play in, in the ISL before. Uh, now, what's the bet that if there's a cheeky bid by, by say, any of the ISL clubs for a certain Ben Foster at some point of time, uh, is that something you'd be willing to take up? 
Um, for sure. So, yes, honestly, for sure. I love it. I love it. A cheeky bit. Brilliant. Um, yeah, like I said, my, I'm 38 years old. You know, my contract here at Watford, um, it, it runs out at the end of the season. And I think the position I'm in, I actually think it's really exciting where I don't really fully know what's going to be next for me. I know I'm fit as a fiddle and I know that I can still play at a high level. But where next is, is going to be the big question. You know, it could be America. It could be India. It could be Adisha. Um and I think that the, I've never been in this position before. I've never been in a position where my contract is expiring, but I'm actually quite liking it, you know, because I, I'm enjoying playing my football as it is now, but I'm excited for the future as well. So without doubt, it's definitely going to be an option. It's going to be something where I need to sort of address it and assess it at the end of the season and see what's best for me. Yeah, Ben, I mean, when David James was managing and playing in the ISL, he was 44. Uh, so you still, have, you still have a lot of time uh, considering that he was 44 when he came in, you're still 38. Uh, so yeah, I'm 30. I've got six years left. Then it's fine. I can do. I've got six years left. There's plenty of time. Um, no, to be fair, David James. I I trained with David James when uh, when I was with England when I when I was a youngster, and the guy scared the life out of me. Honestly, he used to scare the life out of me. He's so he's so big and scared. he was such a good goalkeeper as well. What a guy. Um, no, but like I said, I'm. I don't know. It's it's one of these things where I think you can only make these sort of decisions near the end of the season. You're enjoying your football. Uh, you're also enjoying doing a lot of things apart from football. Now, I cannot not bring up your YouTube channel, uh, The Cycling Goalkeeper. Uh, I just want to know what were your peers and, and your players and your colleagues' reaction to when you actually wanted to put a GoPro inside the goalpost? And what did your manager initially say to that? Um, okay, before I answer the question, sorry, do you think right, if, I, if I came and signed for Adisha, if I came out there to do the cycling GK out in India, do you think it would go down well? Do you think it would have a good reception? Absolutely. In fact, in fact, there's uh, one of the most promising young Indian talents, Rahul KP, who plays for Kerala Blasters, is quite the cyclist himself. So if you came down, I'm sure he can uh, show you a few good uh, cycling trails as well. Ah, nice, nice. Are you talking collabs already? I like it. I like it. So bear for me, that's a massive tick in the box. If I know I'm going to get views out there, so yeah, shit is a no-brainer. I think it's done. Let's sign the deal now. Let's get out there, okay? Um, but no, no, the, the Cycling GK, my YouTube channel, it's, um, I, do, I absolutely love it, honestly. As I've got older, I, I think if you'd have said to me two years ago, you'll have your own YouTube channel, which I've, I've nearly got a million subscribers now, um, I'd have said no chance. Absolutely no chance. But I, like I say, that first time where I put the GoPro in the goal, and you can literally see and hear every, every single thing that goes on in that little goal mouth, um, the reception to it and the reaction was incredible. People, people have never seen it from that angle before. Um, and then if you put a bit of context around it, you know, you see me picking it up and talking to it and telling you what's happening and showing you what's happening. It's, it's yeah, people have been really sort of excited by it. And like I say, the fact that I've nearly got a million subscribers already. Um, yeah, but if I come out to India, I want to be hitting two, three, four million within weeks today. Um, but no, it, it is. I do absolutely love it. And the lads, it, you know, the lads have been brilliant. The lads have really bought into it. The shame for me at the minute is I've just lost um, Will Hughes. Will Hughes has gone and signed for Crystal Palace. And he was one of the big guys on the channel. You know, he's always swearing. He's got that horrible potty mouth. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I'm happy for him anyway. He gets to gets to play his football somewhere else. I mean, now that you mentioned that, Ben, um, uh, we all heard the news about Troy Deeney also leaving the club. Watford legend, of course. Uh, just a word about uh, spending time with him uh, in Watford all these years. What's your relationship with him like? Are you going to miss him? Yeah, for sure. Troy um, Troy was our leader. He was our captain. You know, he's, he's been here 11 years. And um, the amount of goals he scored and the effect that he's had on the place, you, you can't replace that straight away. You know, it's not something that you can just sort of click your fingers and replace it. So he will be missed for sure. But it's like anything. It's like life, you know. You, People move on, things move on, you go on to different things. And um, I'm really happy for him, though, because he's gone to Birmingham City and Birmingham is is where Troy's from. I'm, I'm from very close to there anyway. So Troy actually only lives sort of 10, 15 minutes away from my house. Um, but so I know for him, it's almost like a bit of a homecoming. Do you know what I mean? He'll get to be closer to his family, his mum, his, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I am. I'm really happy. But for sure, we'll miss him. And it's, it's going to take a while to replace him. Brilliant, Ben. And uh, just uh, finally, a word for everyone back here in India who, who follow your exploits, both on the pitch and on YouTube. Yeah, thank you, guys. It's um, the YouTube. Let's start with the YouTube. If you haven't already, please go and watch it. It is such a good, good thing to watch. YouTube, the cycling GK. Honestly, it's really nice. It's sort of it's, it's a, 
anybody can watch it, any age range. It will give you a real good insight behind the scenes of what happens at a professional Premier League football club. Um, but when we talk about the partnership between Adisha and, and Watford FC, I think the exciting part for me is coming over to Adisha, trying to implement something that can really improve Indian football, especially Adisha. And, you know, I want to see an Indian footballer over in the Premier League absolutely ripping it up and smashing it up because I think the, the world needs that. It's crying out for it. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ben. All the best for the rest of the Premier League season. Hope you achieve your objectives, whatever they are at the end of the season. Thank <laughs> you.